What is up guys? I'm One Lone Nerd and welcome back to the Christmas special I guess because it's the holidays and I've been gone for a week so yeah the Christmas special because it's that season where people can get drunk during the day and not have to go to an intervention that's right it's Christmas so with this Grinch costume as well there's lots of costumey pieces that I've made myself so as I'm doing the makeup because I'm going to do the makeup before I put anything on. I will talk you through how each piece was made. It's all fairly simple to be fair. But for anyone who for some reason might want to follow along at home, why? But I will tell you how I did everything. I also got the Grinch costume I'm going to be wearing. Which is just basically a Santa suit and some green leggings off of Amazon. So I will put them down in the description. But other than that, let's get Grinchy. So to start with, I'm just going to sort of throw my hair up in a bald cap. Sorry if you can hear the bird in the background. He is a very loud bird. And he has very big attachment issues. I wish I was joking. He is adorable though. His name is Burb. <laughs> His name is Burb, like B-I-R-B. It's the best name. So now that we got our hair up. I'm going to grab this prosthetic that I made and just sort of put some glue on it and on my face where I want it to lay. I made this prosthetic by using some lightweight foam. It's like lightweight air foam. It's, the, it's not like clay but it's moulding tool and then I just did my design in it and on the edges here are latex and tissue which I'm going to use to stick it to my face as well as FX glue on the inside so let's glue this up and stick it on. Also lay glue where it will sit on your face. Alright guys so a quick little side note here, hi. The foam that I ended up using I got from Hobbycraft and it was about one pound a packet so super cheap for me. And I ended up using two maybe three but I got some spare just in case which I would recommend because at the start this can be quite finicky to work with and after I made it, I just put some tissue on the inside to help it adhere, adheres, to help it stick to my face, basically. Alright, side run over. So I'm just going to use the brush that I've sacrificed to the liquid latex and just get it all over my face. As well as on the inside of the prosthetic, but I've already done that, so you just want that to dry a little bit. And then, yeah, just to layer some latex on quite generously so put on quite a thick layer of latex but not so thick that it won't be able to dry is what I'd say so just lay this all over where your late prosthetic is going to be sitting and wham bam you yeah, have something on and then just start laying down the edges with your latex the tissue edges and that should hopefully help it stick Alright guys, so while you have a cool time lapse of me doing my makeup, I just thought I'd go into a little bit about how each piece was made and how I got the prosthetic on because it was a challenge. So to get this prosthetic on, I used the tissue edges that I had there along with the base glue which I spoke about and I just kept building on that with other smaller pieces of tissue. And then I kept going over the edges with the plastic bit at the back of my brush. I wouldn't recommend doing this if it's sharp. To just sort of push off a couple edges of the tissue and make it look a bit more natural because within prosthetics you never want to leave sharp edges because it can just look quite unnatural. Although this prosthetic was not my best work. I think with the costume and once all the pieces were set it looked pretty good. So I just put on that with a couple layers of tissue and latex. I did about five to six I'd say depending on the area. It was quite, it was quite challenging to get it to sit because as much as it was custom made to my face this prosthetic did not seem to want to sit. I would definitely use this method again though, I would probably just do it for a smaller area or maybe use a slightly different material. So next up I want to talk about the Santa hat. Now once I actually got out on about this hat did not last long but I will get into that later. So this hat had a fun little detail where I just wrote fuck Xmas on it because I was doing a more me Grinch. This wasn't your family friendly Grinch. I later ended up regretting it though because every time a kid came up and had a high five because that's something that ended up happening I sort of turned the hat around <laughs> so that they couldn't see it. 
but this hat didn't end up lasting long but I just thought the fuck Xmas detail was quite I thought it was accurate to the Grinch I was doing because this fucker never learned to love Christmas so i have my prosthetic on and this thing is huge like jesus christ but i do feel we are getting somewhere quite grinchy so i'm just gonna wait for all my edges to dry and then we are gonna lay down some green while i wait for this to dry i'm gonna try on my wig and then i'll tell you about how i made it so let's quickly do that so this is the wig it's literally mostly just the front piece and the side hair that he has which should hopefully hide how shitty the edges of this prosthetic are. And I just sort of hot glued it to a wig cap. And then what the hair is, is you remember from the Halloween series that two pound wig. It's literally just that painted green. And then I take the ends and hot glued it to some tape. And that's what these little bits are. So I'm going to throw that on and we'll see what that looks like. So Grinch hair is on and I think so far this is looking pretty fucking cool and then now I'm just going to paint my neck and forehead. So let's do that. Alright so now I'm just going to go in with some green water activated paint and just do my neck and forehead while I wait for the edges of the prosthetic to dry. Alrighty guys, hi. So I'm just going in with some liquid latex on the edges of my hairpiece just to hopefully hold it down a little bit and really pull out those baby hairs. And then anywhere that doesn't have an edge drying or latex on it, I'm just going over with the green for now just to make, well, just to make the eventual paint job a bit easier and yeah, there's only so much green paint someone can put on at once before you lose it. Now, it was around this point that I realised I have to get some better fucking liquid latex because this prosthetic was just giving me so many issues, so if you do this, dear god, use some good latex. Like, the thickest you can find should be enough, hopefully. And then once everything's dry enough, I'm just throwing down some paint anywhere that's dry and just hoping that this whole thing doesn't fall apart. I don't know why, but I've painted myself all green more times than most other colours, like... Probably more than I've used a normal tone of foundation, it's quite weird at this point. But if I do say so myself, I think this one ended up looking a bit better than last year's Grinch, so hey, that is always going to be a win. Next up, I'm going to go in with one of those weird foundation brushes, which are a godsend, I don't remember what they're called, I think it's something like... Is it an elephant toothbrush, or am I on crack? But anyways, I'm going in with that and alternating between that and a few smaller brushes, and just sort of painting everywhere. Just get green everywhere on ya except I didn't do my hands because I had gloves but you could do your hands just be careful that you don't get green over everything you own because it will transfer and once you look like you had a bukkake with Shrek you're all good to go and after spending half of your fucking lifespan painting yourself green you can finally use another colour so I started by going in with some black eyeshadow but it wasn't opaque enough overall so then I was just like Fuck it, all hope's gone, just use some black lipstick. I didn't have a black watercolour on hand or I would've used that, but yeah. The darker the better with this, just because it was a bit more theatrical. And by theatrical, I just mean very stage makeup, because I know it's going to be taking a lot of photos from distances, and I just didn't want to look like a green blob. And as you can see here is the moment I decided on black lipstick. It's not much of a colour change, but it overall just looks a lot better, as you can see right there. The edges on this prosthetic genuinely were probably some of the worst I've ever had, but luckily because it's all one colour, it faded in. So then I'm going in with that same black in where he has his little whisker holes, but no whiskers. Not to assume this Grinch's gender, sorry. And then with that same black, I'm just going over all the little wrinkles, just because, yeah, like I said, I don't want to look like a green blob. And this is probably where I should have used the black eyeshadow, because these turned out super opaque and... Yeah, they just didn't look very natural. 
And apparently from reviewing the footage, I just said fuck it and grabbed an eyeliner pen. Fair enough. You know what, I don't blame past me. And sometimes you just gotta rearrange your grinch hair, take a step back and be like, what the fuck do I do next? And cause I'm a 2003 emo bitch, apparently black eyeshadow. As of recording this, I just have a G note now playing repeatedly in my head. The undershadow isn't making it better, but also, like, how is it I can't do a smoky eye on a normal basis, but as soon as I'm the grinch, it's like, here's one of the best smoky eyes you'll ever pull off. Then I'm just shaping up my monstrosity of grinch brows, as you can see. They were pretty iconic themselves and buffing out some of those wrinkles. These are sort of the finishing details and you know what? It didn't look half bad at this point. So yay me. All Grinches need some iconic fucking lashes. I personally went for a very pointy lash because it just felt on point for this guy. Like, yeah. And it doesn't count as lashes if you don't lose your applicator and spend 20 minutes fiddling with them because your prosthetic is too fucking big. Alright, so I got the gloves on, which look pretty good, a little bit janky, but as is with the rest of the look. And in about 20 minutes, I'm going to be going out to take some photos of this. Dear God, save me. But yeah, for what this is, I think it doesn't look the best, but I think it looks pretty good. So that's always a win. And yeah, so the fingers are on. I've got to put the fun one on still, but this just means I can still do things. I am a, you cannot breathe out of your nose in this, but I've still got to have the neck piece, but yeah, I can't wait to see what it looks like when I go out. And how I did the fingers was I used the same air drying clay I used for the nose, insert footage of that here, and then I just hot glued the hair on, <laughs> and now you have hairy hands. I can't paint the gloves themselves, just because they really don't want to take the paint, which is annoying, but I don't know. I think this looks pretty cool. So I'll film the reactions of my mum and my brother because I'm going out with them and I think that'll be quite funny on all honesty. <laughs> is this worse or better than the Satan look? That is the question. <laughs> so just left the flat and had one compliment. Had one compliment, no negative so far, so counting it for the win. one year um there's meant to be more footage technical difficulties let me get back to you guys all jokes aside you guys there is meant to be some more footage because i did spend a really long time on that costume and i wanted to get the most out of it but something happened while i was out so the instant that happened it happened after i'd been at the shopping center for half hour 45 minutes i want to say we'd gotten the footage we used to do like the final grinch clips which you'll see it I guess the end of the video or whenever I decide to put it in. Edit a meme, make up your mind. So we've gone the clips that you've already seen. How the shopping centre works is you've got your first floor, which is all of your shops. Like, there's every shop you could need in the UK, like a Boots, a Primark, a Tiger, if anyone knows what that is, a Super Drug. There's a fucking amazing bubble tea shop there. 100% go check it out. Uh, there's an arcade. It's a really great shopping centre about two hours away from where I live and so yeah on the first floor you have all your all your British shops then on the second floor it's super, sort of like a food, food court I guess for anyone American watching I think in my analytics there's like one American um so then you have your food court and then on the third floor you've got a cinema it's a nice cinema I've been there a few times after we've been there for a while we went to the second floor my mum needed to do something I don't remember at this point in all honesty. It's been 
about a week since it happened and so we were up there for about five minutes waiting for her and me and my brother had just been getting a bit of footage for the video chatting catching up talking about going out dressed as the grin um i think a few kids waved at me that's about it so then after a while like this group of roadmen come next to us and i was already nervous because i've had a few negative experience with roadmen in the past being alt i guess i <laughs> i fucking hate the alt label who doesn't it's it just validates gatekeepers but i don't fit myself into an alternative box so We'll go with alt, I guess. <laughs> so they sort of start staring at us, laughing, and I'm like, whatever, they're just idiot kids. But then they just yell out, is your pussy green? Now, they do it once, I ignore them. Even though if anyone asks you anything about your fucking private body parts, you should not take shit. Let alone if you are dressed up as the Grinch. I don't know how bad your life must be going if you feel like you have to sexually harass the Grinch, but... Never take that shit. My friendly advice to you, no matter like your age, your gender, your situation, never accept that shit. It is not okay. So they yell, is your pussy green? Iconic, I know. Um, so then they do that once, twice, three times. And on the third time, I sort of turn around to them and I just say, fuck off. As anyone should in that situation, stick up for yourself. Get stupidly pissed off considering they're the ones who started it by sexually harassing someone. For, since this happened, until literally yesterday, I was like, did I react the wrong way? <laughs> I didn't even realise it classed as sexual harassment until today, as I'm doing this part, but it just didn't click in my brain, in all honesty. <laughs> um, if repressing issues was a sport, my brain would win the fucking Olympics. It's it's a fun little thing, I reckon, but, um, so for a while I was like, was telling him to fuck off the wrong way to deal with that? And looking back, in all honesty, my opinion is fuck no. <laughs> and that is not gonna change. Now, for a while I was like, they're kids, I'm being too harsh. No. They were like 14 to 15, I think a couple of them were even 16. That's old enough to know. <laughs> even if you're not old enough to know your parents it's a conversation to have with your parents or guardians now I don't give a fuck what their age was I would have reacted the same way to most people <laughs> um, I don't care like it doesn't matter their age it, you shouldn't have to put up with being sexually harassed no matter what like if you're wearing a short skirt or whatever, no matter your gender, your age, if you're sexually harassed or someone's doing something making you uncomfortable, you should always speak up about it. <laughs> I know not everyone's in a safe situation, but there are always people to talk to. I will put some helplines in the comments below, I guess. <laughs> that is the best thing to come from this situation, is being able to spread awareness and give people these resources. But yeah, if something ever makes you uncomfortable, it's completely, you should always speak up. Now, whether that's telling someone to fuck off or having a polite way of doing it like, hey, I'm not comfortable with that, can you stop? But yeah, after I told them to fuck off, they get oddly upset considering they're the ones who just sexually harassed me and were just being rude little shit. But then just to add a cherry on top, they choose to ignore COVID guidelines and get this close to my face. And they're just like, they're trying to start a fight. They're just like, fuck you. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Like, you know how teenagers act. Like, they're not even teenagers. Some of them are going to graduate secondary school next year. Like, I... I'm normally a very op optimistic person. I will always be like, people are in different circumstances. But, nah. <laughs> None of them have an excuse to act the way they did. And even if they did... The way they went about it was so fucking stupid. But I'll get into the kicker at the end of the video. They get this close to our face, they are trying to be intimidating, and then they also threaten to stab me and my brother. Because at this point my brother has stepped in and told them to fuck off politely as well, and I've said to them, stop trying to get this close to someone. It's just rude. Now, also, I have fucking, um, I have autism, so... 
I don't do social interaction. Like, a lot of basic social interaction to other people can be horrifying to me. But yeah, my brother had got involved and said to them, back the fuck up, you do not have any right to be acting like this. Because they didn't. But yeah, they threatened to stab us a few times in this and were reaching around their pocket, which is always fun. I'm trying to get this out properly, but <laughs> I am a scatterbrain. This happened like two weeks ago. I remember like the key details of uh, them asking me if my pussy's green and threatening to stab us and also trying to get in a fight with us. Key details. So yeah, like I said, they're trying to get in a fight with us. You know the thing that road men do when they're trying to act intimidating. And it's just like that scene at a Toy Story where it's like, I packed your angry eyes. Insert meme here, even though it's probably not well placed. Um, so yeah, sorry, lighting issues. And then my mum comes back after this whole interaction. They back up because apparently no, fighting three people is way different than fighting two. So yeah, from the food court to the main centre, there's an escalator. Anyone? It's. I'm probably going to have like a graph somewhere here, but... Yeah, we go down to the main shopping area and we tell my mum what happened, me and my brother, and we just sort of laugh it off at the time. We're just like, let's just finish up and get going. So as soon as they see us laugh, <laughs> they run down these circular stairs. It was like something out of a comedy skit. And they just make fucking proper angry eye, eye contact with us. I'm trying not to laugh at this point between... You know how they're like, oh, you have fight or flight? No. I have fucking laugh. Like, it's the best comedy in the world. I don't fight or flight. I laugh. Like, any kind of uncomfortable situation, I will just laugh. And it's a big, it's a big issue for me. It's happened at some of the worst times. Yeah. So they're making direct eye contact. I'm trying not to fucking witch cackle. Yeah, so we start, we go to walk away because... We're just not going to get in a fight with a bunch of fucking teenagers. <laughs> Even though, like, they're two years younger than me, tops, some of them. Like, tops, two years younger than me, I think. Some of them easily looked 17. So we walk away. There's two entrances. We go towards the entrance near the arcade. And this uh, happened near the main entrance. So as we're walking away, of course, they start following us. Because that's what you do when you're trying to be intimidating. Follow people around the shopping centre full of security guards. As they're following us, one of them run up behind me. And you saw that Christmas hat I was telling you about earlier. This is the saddest part of the whole thing. <laughs> like, he was- this kid was like three foot. He was really short. I'm- I'm like six one six two. This kid was like three foot. He runs up behind me. Mario jumps and steals my fucking Christmas hat. Bruh. He stole my fucking Christmas hat. So we hadn't realised- I realised what happened. My mum didn't. So we'd gone into the store and we told my mum what happened and she's like, fuck that, we're gonna go get the hat back. Like, nah. So we go over to ask for the hat back and then they try to use that as a reason to start another fist fight. Age boys try to start a fight with two women one boy, three people versus like however many of them. Because apparently that's how you're hard nowadays. That's how you're intimidating nowadays. I don't know guys, like they just were, I don't know why they wanted to start, like who hates the Grinch that much? Like my boyfriend hates the Grinch more than anyone and he wasn't trying to fight me. Whoops. Like I said, they're trying to start a fight with us. They continuously are trying to threaten to stab us and reaching around their pockets, which makes me super fucking uncomfortable, not only for myself, but the fact I'm out with my relatives, my brother and my mother. Like, I think anyone would be uncomfortable in that. Get to the point where we go and let security know what's happening. We also then, as soon as they threatened knives, my mum was like, fuck this, called the police. She did it in front of them, and as soon as they heard that, they fucked off. Like, as soon as they heard the police, they were like, nope, what, fucking ran away. Now, I've got something really funny from what happened as well from the police, so I will show you. So, as soon as I found out about this, I did sort of laugh, but I'm actually really impressed about this, because, yeah. So, this is a letter from victim support, which, you know what, in all honesty, I didn't take this too seriously, but... 
someone might rule in different places. And also since this instant, I've started carrying I attacker identifying spray and the fucking security alarm. I'm not going to stop what I do because of some little shits. I'm just going to be smart going forward. Don't fuck with me, I guess. So apparently as soon as we got off the phone to the police, they were suddenly feeling like they wanted to start on us again. I know, right? There's sort of benches there and we had gone over there just to have five, have a drink, like get some beverages in us calm the fuck down then they walk over to us again and try to start a fight still trying to threaten us but this time security came over and told them to back the fuck away like two security guys i'm not mad at security they were doing the best job they can yeah so security were trying to get them to back away they kept coming back over to us like they did not want a social distance for some reason no clue why so after that, I have a close friend that lives near that shopping centre, so we went up to where they live for a few minutes just to sort of, we were up there for about 45 minutes just laughing about what happened and, you know, just the jokes you would make after that situation you can only imagine. So then after we left our friends, we went downstairs, we went into the scenes where I was like, I'm gonna grab a snack, gonna grab a fucking monster, I am done with this shit. I need caffeine or calories, one or the other. <laughs> so as soon as I go in Southside, I shit you not, like I'd taken some of the Grinch stuff by this point because I was sweating from the pure anxiety and stress. So I'm like a half dead Grinch. I think I've got a video somewhere in this fucking Sainsbury's. I walk in and the first thing I see in the fucking shopping place is these little shits standing there. I look over and my mum's just like, for fuck's sake, for us, genuinely. But then our cab, we got an Uber and it was like, oh, we're here. So like, all right, let's go. I've got a little bit of footage here of that. It ain't great, but it's what I got. <laughs> so then I got home and curled up in a ball, had a shower and was like, I'm done with this shit. And then I woke up the next day, realised I hadn't taken the makeup off properly and got to go through this process. But for your viewing pleasure, as that was probably a bit rambly and ranty, I have made a dramatic reenactment for you guys. Over to editing me. Is your pussy green? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs>
Keep the change, you filthy animal. Oi, that was greatly edited, wasn't it? Round of applause to me. You guys can vote for me for the Oscars. I will let you guys do it this one time. Dear God. <laughs> But honestly, other than a few dickheads to had to ruin it, this experience was amazing for me because so many people had a positive reaction. I had one guy hit on me, like, dead ass stare me in the face and said, hey, I wish I could take this Santa home. Even though I wasn't Santa, I was the Grinch, but that was an interesting one. I had a whole bus stop full of school kids, like, yelling, it's the Grinch. And, like, taking Snapchat, so if any of you see that, like, my Instagram's down below. DM me those snaps. I want to see the videos, boys. <laughs> um, like, I want to see those videos of me as the Grinch just looking confused, please. Um, but I also had kids asking for high fives. Like, some, of the, some kids I saw were so happy. But, obviously, I'm the Grinch. There are a few that looked a little bit horrified, but... The people with the positive reactions was so nice because this costume was probably one of the hardest I've done so far and it made it worth it seeing like some people smile at it or just knowing that you made someone happy for a few seconds. Cheesy, I know. Right with the Christmas spirit, even though it's January. But the positive reactions made it worth it and I'm not going to let some assholes ruin it so more videos coming soon and a little side segment on that. So in some of my videos in the past, they've not necessarily been the best production quality or the best edited. But going forward, starting now guys, this channel is going to get better quality, more interesting videos and big things coming for Ghosts and Mirrors, which I've only done about two episodes of, but there is more to come. <laughs> so yeah, this channel means a lot to me. I've always wanted to do YouTube and... I've tried a bunch of times, but this time feels the most real to me. So, thank you guys, anyone who watches, comments, interacts. You make This is amazing, and yeah, more stuff to come, and hopefully more subscribers, because I'm going to work my ass off. And you'd miss out on the fun stuff to come if you didn't subscribe, so... <laughs> Hit the button, I guess? No pressure, though. It's cool if you don't. But you should. <laughs> but you should <laughs> no peer pressure though and hey if you liked me getting dressed as a Grinch just have to leave after 5 minutes you could hit that button <laughs> but yeah even though the holidays are over have a great holidays I know not everyone likes them some people have shitty family members some people have fucking homophobic or racist grannies but hey this year you could give them the gift of an education and how not to be an asshole. It's not hard. Or just get drunk. Either works. I'm not. I haven't been able to get drunk over New Year's, which has been. It's been a weird experience. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, Christmas was good for me this year, but different. But that's okay. Change is fun, and not to get too cheesy or personal. But I got to spend this year with someone I love, which is new for me. <laughs> so yeah have a great holiday have a great January and here's to 2022 being a year I'm not going to commit to anything at this point we all seem Covid just needs to stop fucking us all over like you had your time to start shine sis fuck off and as always mostly recently remember the best kind of revenge is to live your dreams or murder but living your dreams you benefit from that as well whether you want to be a tattoo artist or put on red wigs and talk about getting jumped as the Grinch. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, live your dream because tomorrow's not guaranteed so you might as well do something fun today. <laughs> Have a great day guys. Happy holidays and see you next time. Bye. Wait, that looks so much better.